Hello guys, how are you doing? My name is Brad Hart. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk. On today's episode, we're taking a step back. We're trying things a little bit differently. I'm actually going to be taking a step back from the nattering and the yattering, and I'm going to be showing you something a bit more magic related. For those who don't know, I'm actually a magician. But before I get into that, let's get kickstarted into the episode. So pull yourself up a chair, grab yourself a drink, and let's talk. Now, I don't know which of you guys know this, but I am actually a magician. And in my time of dropping coins and doing magic for 14 years, I've done a ton of stuff. I've been on TV, I've done events all over the UK. And I think it's time for me to bring that love back and bring it on screen. As much as I do love presenting and things of that nature, I kind of want to bring back that magic touch. So today's episode, I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite card tricks. I already want to know what you think of it and what your view of it is. Now, before we get kickstarted into that routine, I want to know you of you guys, after you've watched today's video, if this is the type of content you like to see and what your view on it is really. I will still be doing the Let's Talk and discussing bits and bobs, but on today's episode of Let's, Let's Talk, we've got a slightly different section and we're calling this one Magical Brad. I am still going to be continuing with my normal sections of Let's Talk where I do discuss a little bit of topics. So before I actually do get kickstarted into the magic routine, which will be towards the end of the video, I have something to discuss with you today. And actually what I want to discuss is something a bit more personal to me. It's kind of about adventure and where you go with your life and what you kind of plan on doing. And obviously trying to find your footing in the world is quite a difficult thing to do. And I don't want this to get too deep, but I recently thinking about all the different business ideas and things that I've done over the time from having my own property business, which I ran for nearly around nearly two years that I eventually lost because of the pandemic to a hat company that I had at 11 years old where I used to take snapback hats, put helmets inside of them and iron on my labelling on the sides because all those kids at the skate park didn't want to wear helmets. So I thought I'd try and make them cool and trendy which even further led into the clothing brand that I had at a young age called Heart Clothing, where I basically ran and sold hoodies and t-shirts where friends of mine were modeling them and I'd sell them online. And I've had that many different business ideas and that many different things that I've tried, but it always came back to the one thing and it's always come back down to the comparing and the magic. Now the comparing I've done for quite some time, which is why I'm bringing it on the screen now and starting presenting. And I even started doing some comparing for all the edge light switch ons. I did events, I did the Mayfair, I did. And for those of you who don't know what the Mayfair is, it's essentially a fair and festival that happens in all the edge in Cheshire every single year. And I got quite a good relationship with those who ran it, which actually did lead me on to further events also. Now the idea of this YouTube channel did actually come from the comparing, the presenting, but also my love for production, my, my love for video editing and things like that. I actually studied at college, doing a media course where I came fluently in the Adobe Suite and kind of taking all these loves and putting them into one makes this YouTube channel. Now, I don't know what my path is. I want to be a presenter. I also want to work in production. I want to be a businessman and a magician. I've got no idea. But what I do know is that I love doing this YouTube and I'm going to keep going for it. And it, the really reason for me nattering about, about this is it got me thinking when obviously I had of all these ideas, I've run businesses, the property business was a limited firm, we had accountants, we had a registered office, things like that. I did all of this stuff, but it brought me down to one thing, doing what made me happy at the time. And even though all of the, the old did link, for example, when I had the property firm, I was doing video editing and for, I was editing photos and logos for the company for advertising. So with the clothing brand came back to production, the magic's always been consistent and the presenting the public speaking just kind of went into different forums. It went into the property world or, you know, it went into the clothing world when we, when we went to some showcases for other brands. It's amazing and it's great to see how they all interlock and link together, but it comes down to one thing, this YouTube channel. Now I've nattered, I've spoken about what the path is and what the dreams are, but I just want to get into this. I want to get into this magic routine. So let's hop into it. Now let's hop into it. So what's this? This is a card mat, this is a card table. Hello, this is a card mat. And this is essentially where most magicians practice their type of stuff. Now in this routine, I'm gonna show you something which would usually use a participant. Um, and we're not gonna use one for this case because obviously they can't sit on my table. But we'll start off like this, okay? So we've got a standard deck of bicycle playing cards. Magicians usually use bicycle playing cards. The reason being is they're a standard deck. They're quite traditional in America. And to be honest, they're quite a nice, uh, nice size, okay? Now, we do have some jokers in the deck because I'm a comedian, I'm a funny guy. Now, 
We'll start off by giving the deck just a few simple card sh shuffles. You know, nothing too showing off. A few card mixes. We'll give it a riffle shuffle. Just like that, okay? And by you being at this angle, it means you can see my every move and you're watching my over my shoulder at all times. Now, if you were here, I'd get you to choose a card, but because you're not, I'll do it for you. So let's just say round about there. No, actually, that's not very fair. We'll go... We'll go here. Okay, I'll turn it over so I can see it as well. The Ten of Hearts. It's a nice card. It's a pretty card. It's a pretty flamboyant card. Now, I'll we'll start off like so. The aim of the game is to essentially remember the Ten of Hearts at all times. Okay, now I'm going to take the Ten of Hearts just like so. And I'm going to cut it round about, I'd say, middle into the deck. Just like that. Okay. Now, the important thing is to keep an eye on the cards at all times. Because, of course, there is misdirection in the moment you take your eyes off the card cards something does happen now obviously i'm going to give the few cards of cards a few more cuts and i'm going to slow it down just a little bit more so that means you can watch every single move okay now magicians always do card shuffles like this and they always do card shuffles like this but when i was five years old genuinely i used to just throw cards around i'd mix cards like this like just an absolute mess i wouldn't care about the condition i got the cards in because I couldn't shuffle cards. And when you do stuff like that, you get some cards face up like this. Some cards face down like this. And some cards back to back like this. Now, what I never understood was when the cards are mixed up, face up, face down, back to back. And someone chose a card like the Ten of Hearts. How it always seemed like every single card would go back to normal. Par one. This always confused me. I never got it. I also never got why that card was always the card they selected. Well, there you go. That's something a bit different. That's something a bit mixed up. That's a magic routine by myself. And that's one of my favourite routines that I've been performing at events for quite a while. I do hope you do like that. And I hope that you kind of want to see more content like that. Because I do want to start a little mini sub-series within Let's Talk. Where maybe every week or every two weeks, I show off a bit of magic. And I show off a few new routines. I think that would be quite cool. And it would also mix up the episode quite a bit. I'm glad that if you enjoyed that. And if you didn't, please give me feedback down below and let me know what you like to see on this YouTube channel because we're constantly growing. Now, I'm really, really glad, guys, that I've managed just to show you that. It's kind of the first snippet into the magic world that I have, and I'm really excited to show you more. So please do give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification if you do like the content you see, and I'll see you next time.